Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with another Go Battling video. And today we got level 50 Chandelure. And we have a awful lead. We are going to bring in our Waterfall Pre Marina. Now, I have Pre Marina, Chandelure, and Togekiss all level 50. Pre Marina is only non level, non Hondo here. And uh, the IVs make a big difference, but. 98 is definitely good enough for this team, but you're going to see the importance of having the Hundo Chandelure. And now we have Poltergeist on this Chandelure. It's going to take an extra incinerate to get to Poltergeist as opposed to Shadow Ball. And that battle, we were able to flip the Rock, Paper, Scissors and uh, wall that annihilate with the Togekiss. And here... We have a much better lead, and Poltergeist is a 150 power move compared to 100 for Shadow Ball, and the damage it does, it almost one-shots Gyarados, and today we are going to be able to land a lot of Poltergeist on Gyarados because they expect the Shadow Ball, and they, I mean, Waterfall Gyarados into Chandelure, it's a beautiful surprise to see, but for now, we have the floor just getting walled by the Chandelure. Now, it is a pretty glossy Pokemon, and I would not recommend spending the dust on this. Now, one team that is good with this is Skeleturge and Florgus. Now, if you do choose to use that team... Florgus lead, that is a pretty fantastic team. I have not built Florgus, and I'm not interested in building one, but because I have a lot of other things, and I'm going to be able to get a decent win with my Pre Marina. Next battle, we have a bad lead. Bad leads, just bring, just, just do what you can. Definitely... Not the best team, but also got some nice success. And we have found the Togekiss, which isn't ideal, but because we'd want our Chandelure to line up against it. But here we can bring in Chandelure now. We do have a shield advantage. They do reach ancient power, and we cannot afford to give this thing up yet. Now I'm going to go for the bait. They, they know we have energy for Shadow Ball, and they do not want to take that. They're going to throw a move. I have to shield. It is a Shadow Ball. Poltergeist number one. Kaboom! I think Shadow Ball would have been plenty. And here, we make a brilliant catch onto the Togekiss. Now, are they going to be able to get enough energy for back-to-back -back moves? Well, it's going to be tight. I do have the Flame Charge loaded. And, uh... They did not. They did not. I'm pretty sure Excadrill should have definitely won CMP tie. But so they did not have that ready. Much better lead than Steel types, but they do bring in Mammoth Swine, which is nice. Pretty high level shiny Mammoth Swine. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And they are getting a waterfall down. Going to get some nice damage on me. I'm going to throw this Disarmy voice. Could have full send the Moon Blast, but it's okay. Because we have the alignment we need. Now I'm going to shield because I can easily incinerate down. And here, okay, well, not yet. I didn't full send the Poltergeist yet, but maybe, maybe this battle. Charm is chunking away. Are we going to be able to get the boost? That would just give us the win. No, but we do grab a shield off them, which is nice. Handy dandy. Aqua Tail lands. And I get the charm down. And they concede. They knew we had energy and we had a move on Togekiss. Another Skeletage lead. And oh man, that's not good. They're going to be going for the Shadow Alt Smart. They have no energy, but they bring in Primarina. And here, Poltergeist, kaboom! One-shotting Primarina. Primarina is in a 
is in big was in big trouble, and that is the power. Now it is an elite TM for Poltergeist. If I forgot to mention, it was a Community Day move, and I just happened to have picked the uh, one with Poltergeist. And now I have a big advantage in my hands with Skeleturge being met with a Waterfall Primarina. Beautiful. Shadow Ball can be even tanked. I mean, I have a shield. And I was just able to play around correctly. Didn't even grab any shields off them. Now we have a much better lead up against Shadow Snorlax. Body Slam is going to be their best choice of damage onto me, which is fine. Am I going to get the Ancient Power Boost? Give me an Ancient Power Boost, AP Boost. No, but I do grab a shield, which is fantastic. Fantabadozy. I'm going to bring in Primarina because they're not low enough for me to incinerate down. And I do not want to take like 10 licks worth of damage. That's a lot. Now I have lots of energy. They have Dragonite. Going to be able to go for a Disarming Voice. Am I going to grab a shield? I grab a shield. Beautiful. Now here, some big brain plays. Paying attention. Swapping into Chandelure. Now, if this wasn't the hundo, it would be a problem. But here, one-shotting the Gyarados. We have the Moonblast loaded. And that is no shields used on us. Both shields used by them, and they take the loss. A perfect Chandelure is what you need for that Gyarados. And once again, bad lead. Primarina comes in. They have a Gyarados, okay. Gonna full send the Moonblast. Do they think I'm gonna throw the Disarming Voice? Lag, I was like, please, my opponent crash, but no, they did not. Although, I am able to land that Moonblast, which is going to allow me to get a Waterfall down. Because, as a Fairy type, any Fairy Water type, Gyarados, is, all of his charge attacks are not very effective. And they have a, a, a Dragonite, which is beautiful. Exact alignment I needed. Alignment is make or break with this team. And it definitely has its weaknesses. Excadrill returns, and I notice and bring in the Incinerate user ASAP. Now the thing is, they are low enough to where I can just commit my last shield to Togekiss. Dragonite is just walled. By the fa this fairy, unless it had a hurricane and I had a shield still. Now, Avalon, I am going to make a mistake here. Well, let's see what happens. So they rock slide. Are they going to go for another rock slide? No, they are not. And I shield the icy wind, unfortunately, because I knew I was in rock slide range. And I give up alignment, which is a problem, but also... Let's see what can be done. Two incinerates worth of energy with minimal damage taken. What are they going to bring in? Are they going to bring in a Gyarados? They bring in Annihilate. And I'm going to get, I think, two. No, one, one incinerate through, but I survive. I'm going to throw a cheaper move to grab a shield because I could have a Shadow Ball, but they don't fall for the tricks. Night Slash gets survived. I have Poltergeist in case they, well, they smart by them. And thankfully, Togekiss is just a good enough fairy type. It can outbulk and survive the Aqua Tails, and it's going to be able to charm down the Gudra. Just a little shy in the energy, and that I think that that should be a level fifty Gudra. So cool to see for them. Unfortunate in the end game. Do not have what it takes. But this opponent, annoying, annoying, annoying. Steel lead, but I do have the Waterfall Primarina. I shield up a meter mash, so lost. Bad, bad alignment and down a shield, but I do grab a shield off them. It would have been 
nice to be able to disarming voice and grab a shield from the metagross, but it's fine. It's fine. We have this Haxorus getting taken down, grabbing its last shield. I'm going to bring in Togekiss because it's in a bad position. And here are some Mega Brain plays. Going to be able to get one more charm before I wait out the timer. Because I, I, I need the time up. I need to be able to bring in Chandelure. And they do bring in Metagross themselves, which is fine. Just going to let the Togekiss go, but still a mistake. Another mistake made. Should have just gone. But I didn't want to take a Meteor Mesh. But it's silly because they should have. I guess they would have been able to throw a... Earthquake, but Poltergeist, kaboom! Taking care of that Gyarados. Gyarados, you have to watch out for Poltergeist, haha. -ha. Next battle, we have Togekiss versus Darmanitan. Once again, a bad lead. I also cut out a lot of Magnezone leads, which... Magnezone lead into this team is, well, that's bad. And there is another... Poltergeist knockout on the shiny Gyarados. Now we have the alignment we need. So just waiting out the timer. And gonna shield up the Focus Blast. Would have been resisted, but wanted to keep this Primarina healthy. And yeah, they have an extra drill. Fantastic. Can easily survive a drill run. And I may as well shield up. It's just easier to just. Staying with Purina. And that is a wrap to the video. Hope you enjoyed the battles. Poltergeist Chandelure. Amazing. One a, a, a considerable amount more energy needed to throw instead of Shadow Ball. But it was fun being able to one shot the Gyarados and Primarina. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. The content. Subscribe for daily Go Battle League videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.